And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, after seeing temperatures in the 40s yesterday, feeling like spring, some of us even saw some thunderstorms, some cold air wrapped around this system, and you could see the impacts with highs only in the mid and upper 20s, so our far northwest. But in Green Bay, we had a high of 37. That occurred at midnight. Since then, it was a little bit cooler out there this afternoon. Started off as some snowfall this morning, but then the clouds started to break a little bit by the afternoon hours, and temperatures did get up just a little bit above the freezing mark. And with some of that sunshine compared Comparing this the sun angle this time of the year. Look how quickly all that snow melted. So if you woke up perhaps at like three o'clock this afternoon and you didn't see any of that snowfall, you probably didn't even know it snowed out there. But it was a lot of rainfall that we did see in the last 24 hours. Take a look at some of these highest totals. Close to two inches in two rivers. Brilliant 1.8. Kakana just under that. Denmark an inch and three quarters. Oshkosh had just over an inch and a half of rainfall. Here's a wide look at our viewing area showing this little stretch from near Wisconsin Dell stretching all the way through uh, Lake Winnebago up towards Manitowoc. A lot of areas up towards Door County also saw a pretty good fetch of rainfall out of this. But now it's lots of quiet conditions. We've got the sky starting to clear as well. And as we get into the evening hours with the calming winds, that's going to allow those temperatures to come down pretty quickly. The reason why all of this is happening, we've got a high pressure right now that is drifting very ever so slowly off to the east. So you see all that cloud cover associated with the storm system that brought in all that heavy rain, well, that's shifting eastward, so we're going to be seeing some calming conditions as we head into tonight. 33 degrees right now, but it feels like 22 thanks to that wind coming in out of the north at 18 miles per hour. Sunset tonight is just after 7 at 7.06. We are down to 24 in Anago. We've got 33 in Manitowoc, 34 in Fond du Lac. Ephraim, you are in the mid-20s right now as well. It's feeling like... February compared to the uh, middle of March. Winds coming in out of the north at about a gust near 20 to 30 miles per hour are making those feel like temperatures feel even colder. But good news is that those winds, as you can see, as we get into about close to midnight, starting to subside and they really turn about five, seven mile per hour winds overnight tonight. They'll stay out of the north and northeast as that high pressure moves in here. But as it starts to shift out of our area, we'll start to see some clearing skies and also we'll start to see warming temperatures as we get a little return flow. Skycast showing quiet conditions tonight, mostly clear skies. Guys, as we get into the overnight, same thing here. During the day tomorrow, we could see a little bit of some sunshine, but then later as we get towards Sunday, a weak system will start to move in here. Could bring some cloud cover, but right now it appears that we won't be seeing any precipitation. Good news considering we got that flood warning still for the Wolf River Basin near Shiocton and New London, but a few locations still under a couple of those advisories, so we'll have to monitor for any additional precipitation. Dropping down to 16 overnight tonight, northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then for the rest of your Day, our temperatures will be climbing up to near 40 degrees as we get towards Sunday and into the mid 40s. And some of us could even get into the 50s by the middle of the work week. Now that sounds more 